This is the blast wall and the interior on one of the munitions or dynamite silos down at Longford Misk, once belonging to ICI. Down here you can see the old buffer stops of the narrow gauge railway. So the dynamite was brought, brought across the bridge over the Garnock by train and then delivered in here and stored within these rooms. These were heated and the bridge going across the Garnock along the bridge with its uh, pipe still there. So there are many of these dotted around this area. Presumably these are shelves that the boxes of dynamite were stored on. Very well aerated air vents. So well packed blast walls with uh, corrugated iron outer facings. This area is very remote, so it's ideal. That's why it was chosen by Nibel in the first place, that the, the area around Ardea, Longford Misk, and Snodgrass home, nobody lived here. And the sand hills also were ideal, acting as blast walls or material to be used as such. Here are the buffer stops up close. Some of the old doors shuttering. Notice everywhere has got tar on the ground, as was to prevent sparks. This corridor led down to where all the ventilation areas were. There are devices down there for drawing off any condensate that came out from the dynamite that was stored here. There's row upon row upon row of these silos. Here's where the narrow gauge railway used to carry the dynamite into these silos tracks used to run along here. In distance you can see one of these insulated hot water pipes running from one silo to the next. Looks so in its final years they abandoned the railway and used vehicles instead. Seeing this is tarmacked.